And then came the concept of MCP and MCP servers. So what is MCP? MCP stands for Model Contest Protocol. It's an open standard that allows AI tools to securely connect to external platforms and resources. You can really think about it as API for LLMs, for AI clients. And MCP, uh, it came up uh, from the company behind Claude uh, uh, and Trophy. Uh, but then uh, quickly afterwards, like, you know, other companies, other leading companies uh, uh, like the idea and are going to support it. Here you can see like a post from uh, uh, Sam Altman, the, the CEO of OpenAI and ChatGPT that they are going to add support to it. It's already supported in Cursor and others. So uh, great. So we have like this protocol and do that. We uh, jumped on the opportunity uh, to introduce that. And now I'm going to introduce the Duda MCP server which is really putting the power of AI to work for your business directly from Claude, Cursor, and beyond. So uh, Duda's MCP server makes it possible for AI tools to take real action on the Duda platform. So you can work smarter, you can save time, you can differentiate your offering and stay in control because you can do so much directly from uh, uh, AI clients. And maybe I'll just gonna show you how it works. So first of all, starting also today, uh, it, I talked before about Christmas coming early. So another thing is that if you go today to your account settings page on Duda and you are on agency plan and up, you will see at the bottom of the page, a section that is called model context protocol. And here we, you will see like the URL uh, of the Duda MCP server. You take this URL, you copy it, and then you install it on the uh, tool that you want to use with. Um, if it's Claude, if it's Cursor, uh, soon I think it will be also available in ChatGPT and you can start working on it. Now I did it already uh, and I want to show you how, we, how it works. So let me open my Claude. This is Claude. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, it's very similar to ChatGPT, um, um, AI chat that can do lots of stuff. What I did before, I installed the Duda MCP and when you can see that here, if I'll go here and show you like the different tools. There is a tool called Duda. This is the Duda MCP. And we have like 60 different tools or capabilities that Duda is basically providing together with this MCP that allows you to do so many things on your Duda platform. So let me start to show you like a few of the stuff that we can do. So let's say first now for uh, the first part of this demo that I work on an agency and I'm responsible for SEO, content creation, e-commerce store management uh, for our clients. So I can start asking things. So I can start with uh, a question like, uh, uh, show me uh, the last do the sites I created. So now uh, Claude will uh, try to answer this question and it will use the do the MCP. It will decide which tool from Duda to use. You see, it, it chose to use the list sites tool. Now it's getting uh, information from Duda and can respond. So these are the most recent sites that I have. Um, you can see all those sites. And for this demo, we want to work on the pet store uh, demo site, which is a, a pet store site that I created before from a, a Duda template, nothing special about it. So now, uh, let's say that I want to now manage uh, content and the blog for this website and, and have a new blog post uh, uh, published for the pet store demo. So I can ask Claude something like, um, uh, does site has a blog? And it will check if uh, we have already a blog uh, up and running on this website. It's checking, it's checking list blog posts to, to see if like uh, there is a blog available. And he's saying, yes, uh, the site has a blog and these are the current posts that we have. Top tips for traveling with your dog, dog care on a budget, great. Now, let's say that I want now to research which blog posts uh, I should write. So uh, based on the current uh, posts and uh, trends for uh, dog owners, suggest few, uh, blog post ideas. So now this is not related to do that. I'm just like now using like the power of uh, AI tool uh, for that. Uh, so it's uh, searching the web 
and uh, and let's see which type of uh, uh, ideas it can suggest to me. Okay, based on current trends, on your existing blog post, uh, here are a few trends. Mental health and enrichment, DIY dog enrichment activities, uh, is your dog anxious, then uh, coming enrichment activities that actually work, and so on. And I can just choose. So let me uh, just copy this idea. And now I can say, create a blog post, uh, publish it, and give me the URL. The topic should be make the post short but engaging and use a few images in the post. All right. So now it's going to create the blog post for me. So just think about it, you as kind of like agency owners, if you are offering content services and SEO services, how, mo how much more easily it can be for you to provide those services using such a tool. So you can uh, really automate the entire thing. And of course you can provide more information and more uh, how to make it like, you know, to rank higher, which keywords, which topics to cover and so on. And you don't need to, to work hard uh, to do that. It can really like do it for you. You can see it's now calling the create blog post tool from Duda. It's generating like the content and great. The blog post has been created. Let me publish it. Now it's publishing the, pro the post for me. You can really understand what is it mean a gentic AI in this context. And perfect, uh, it did it. Here is the URL. Um, we can check the URL. Uh, let's see. So I can uh, take the URL and go to my browser over here and see what it did. Oops, something is wrong with the URL. Okay, it's a demo. Oh, he added the blog here that is not needed. It was wrong with the URL. Let's try it like that. Okay, great. Is your dog anxious? And it's creating like, you know, a blog post for me that I can later on kind of like continue and edit. So that's great. So we saw how I like to create like, you know, blog posts. Now let's say that I want to uh, manage my store here and make sure that like my prices are correct. So let's say uh, I can ask, uh, show me the products uh, of my site. So we have a great uh, integration with do the native e-commerce here. Uh, and you can see that it's now listing like the store products. So it will show me all the different products that I have uh, on my uh, pet store website. And here I got like, you know, uh, these are the, the products that we have. We have sleep categories with those products, work category, play category, uh, and product summary. Now let's say that we want to put like the play category uh, items on sale. So I can ask, uh, can you put the play category uh, products on sale? Uh, give them 25% discount. Okay, so now it will go uh, product by product inside the play category and just uh, change the prices uh, for them. And uh, think about it, like I could do now things, I'm not doing it now in the demo, but I could do things like research, what's the best prices uh, compared to competitors. Uh, I can add more products. I can optimize like, you know, product descriptions. So I can do really like lots of stuff. There you see it's doing it. It's updating like the, 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 the price for, for uh, the products that we have. Um, so um, we will uh, give it some time to, uh, to run. And then let's see if like uh, if it did a good job. So um, so these are all the products in our play category, uh, updating each of them one by one. Uh, it can work while it's working. You can do something else, of course, perfectly successfully put like you know all the product on sale. Uh, it's giving like the, all the information uh, in a really really nice way. And uh, yeah, it's done. So if I'll go. Uh, to my site and go to the store, this is like the play category, I should be able to see that each product is now discounted by exactly 25%, which is really cool. Making like, you know, managing a store uh, much easier and I can do all of that. Great. So now uh, let's go here and start like a new chat. And this time now I'm not anymore like the SEO and content specialist. Now let's say that I'm running the site and, and I want to see like, you know, uh, statistics and sales data. So I have a site, actually it's a, my friend's site called Speed of Sound. 
that is selling um, speakers and microphones and headphones. Uh, it's pretty successful, selling quite a lot. And now I want to know, for example, uh, how much money I did. So I can ask uh, something like, uh, for my do the site speed of sound, C-O-I-L, uh, how much money I made yesterday. So now uh, what uh, uh, Claude will do, it will use our tool to get orders, uh, store orders. So first is getting like the site details to find out like, you know, what's the information behind speed of, si speed of sound CIL. He found it. Now it's listing like the store orders to get like, you know, orders information and will try to give me an answer. And think about that. You can do it for store orders. You can do it for site stats, visits. You can do it for site activities. You can do it for form responses. So any type of data and analytics data that Duda is providing, you can do it using our uh, MCP server. And here I got a really great result uh, that like my friend made like 3,000 uh, uh, shekels yesterday, and these are the orders that he got. And I can ask like for more reports and so on. So I can really take it uh, more and more. So now let's do uh, another demo. I'll start a new chat. And now what I want to show you is now I'm not anymore like the site owner. Now I'm an operations manager in an agency. So operations manager that needs to like take care of like, you know, the operation of like getting orders of new clients, creating sites for them, getting them like, you know, the permission to access the site and edit and so on. So now I want to show you the power of connecting several MCP servers together. I showed you before that I added Duda MCP server, but I also added Jira. So for those of you who don't know Jira, Jira is like a Monday or like Asana. It's a project management tool. And here is my Jira. And I'm managing in my agency, I'm managing clients uh, through Jira. And you can see here I have a board and I have like two tasks that are uh, to do in to-do status. So the first one is create a plumber website for um, uh, this client. Uh, it's a new client that we got. And the second task is uh, create a photographer website for this client. So, and now what we want typically is to uh, create those webs, to find the right templates, create a website for the clients, assign them uh, a site, get them, them a welcome URL, updating the Jira board, all of this work that like, I'm sure that some of you are doing on a daily basis. So now let's see how MCP is helping us. So now I'm just going to copy uh, the instructions that I have, like that I prepared before, and I'll let it run. And while it is running, I'll explain you what's, what I'm asking. So I'm asking Claude to go over the items in my Jira project that is called Amir's customers. And for each item, I want to decide which do the template is most suitable based on the vertical, to create a do the site based on the template, to create a client based on the customer email, to assign the client to the site, to create a welcome URL, to add a comment with the site alias and welcome URL to the client, and to set the task to done in Jira. So all of that, imagine what does it mean to do all of that today. It's either like you're working manually and this is a lot of work uh, for just a single one, or you need to like have developers building on top of APIs, um, expensive project. And it's also like anytime that you want to make a change, you need like to ask the developer to spend more time. So now I can just like, you know, write it in plain English and let like, you know, the MCP run. So, in, and it's doing it, look what it's doing. It's like kind of like, uh, uh, it's looking at the Jira project. He found uh, the tasks, he's checking list templates of Duda to see which template is best. He's going to create a photograph, a website, creating a site for it, creating the client account, granting site access, creating welcome URL. Now it's adding comment to Jira um, and then marking the task is done in Jira, doing all of that for me. And uh, once it will finish like the first site, it will just move. Yeah, now it's moving like to the next one, to the Plumber website. So now I'm just like showing here like two, but imagine that you have, I don't know, 50 of those. It can just like do it for you and run for you in the background. And while he's doing like the second site, let me go back to my Jira and just refresh it. And we can see that the first task is already done. And if I'll open it, I can see that like it added a comment that the site created successfully. This is the site alias. This is the welcome URL that now I can send to the client to go and edit the website. This is the template that you decide to use. And this is like the client account. And indeed, if I'll go like to this site alias 
and I'll go to my uh, uh, do the dashboard and search for it. So I can see here that like, you know, indeed uh, a site was created uh, for a photography that I can now, I don't know, move to design or to the next step. And um, uh, and it's all working great for me. And now we also like you know uh, finished like you know the second the second side, and it was all automated. So um, going back to the presentation, um, really with the do the MCP server, it allows you to empower every wall uh, with AI. So it's great for operation teams, like I showed you. It's great for support reps. Who needs to get like you know information and send them like you know to the client it's great for marketers and content teams that can create pages and blog posts and uh and uh, business in, uh, updating content library and business information it's great for site owners who wants to uh, uh get analytics and so on so everyone can enjoy it and it's available today uh, for all of you from agency plan and up um uh, and you can all uh, use it uh today <clears throat> 